Hi guys, uh, we're just going to do a quick video today on a new update that's come out for the JDXI manager software and he's just added a new section so that we are now able to edit the FX section. So you can see on the screen up the top left is the JDXI manager, on the right is an actual JDXI, down below is, um, is my ugly face and also the oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzer. Right, so when you launch the JDXI uh, manager, you'll see there's a new FX button there. That's where you find it. That launches this window, and the window is pretty straightforward. It just carries through these four effects that you've got here. Now, this is kind of like your, you know, your distortion slash uh, compressor bit crusher type effects chain, and this one's like your modulation type effects chain, but it's also got that cool slicer. And then you've got delay and reverb. And if you look on, on the screen, you'll see distortion, bit crusher on that one, uh, phalanger phaser slicer on that one, so your modulation type effects, delay and reverb down the bottom. So it's pretty simple. The cool thing about it is when you've got a patch running, you can actually just click this read from button down here and we'll bring in all the effects that we've got turned on currently on the JDXI. So let's just quickly run through. Now, if I was to go bit crusher on this, it brings up the bit crusher parameters that you can edit. Now they would actually be in this menu here, but we don't need to dive into the menu. We've got them here on the screen. So um, let's listen to the bit crusher. One thing I never knew, which I thought was really cool, is this bit crusher has a filter on it. <laughs> How cool is that? Another filter. Maybe that might be a good title for this video. The JDXI has a secret filter. Who knows? Anyway, that's the bit crusher. Um, you guys can play with these. I'm not going to go through all the effects and what they do. That's not what this video is for. It's just to quickly show you how to use this. One of my favorite effects on the JDXI is the slicer. So we get the hold it and let's get this going a bit faster that's really cool I love that effect it's really really cool notice with the flanger and that's got all your standard sort of rate depth that sort of stuff is in there and phaser also it's also got some cool ring mod controls there as well but we need to go into the delay now at the moment there's no delay. Let's turn it on. The delay on the JDXI I think is really nice. And you've got a lot of control here. I actually didn't even know some of this stuff was in here. So for example, I didn't know this high frequency damper was in here. And that basically is when you hear the delay part of the sound, that actually is the frequency in, in which it's dampering. And you can completely turn it off or you can muck around with it and it goes all the way down to 200 hertz and all the way up to no no effect at all. So let's do it at 200 hertz, see what this one's to. So it's just a real deep part of the tone. So you can just think of it like a filter, I guess. And let's listen to it with it off, which is pretty much just an echo now. It's a pure echo. And the default was that 5,000. So yeah, nice. Anyway, you've got the ability to sync your delay to the tempo, which is done here or via an external clock, or you can actually set your delay in milliseconds if you want to as well. And the last one is the reverb. So let's turn that on. Now that is a room reverb. Let's try room two. And I think these are slowly getting longer in the tails. That's stage. And stage two. It's a bit more echoey. And then we've got hall. That's got a longer tail on that one. And then hall two. Now those reverbs, I would say, are very standard with a lot of Roland synths, probably from the 90s. So the reverb on here doesn't excite me that much, but it's good enough for just enough to beef up your sound. Now, one thing 
also to notice on the reverb, as with a delay, you've also got that HF damp. So I may just want the reverb just to sort of pick up a dull sound. That's inter it makes some interesting effects when you play with things like that. Or you could do it a bit higher. That one almost sounds like it, it's disappearing down like a tunnel. So yeah, these things are what makes your sounds unique. So Reds' tip of the day, which is right on the other side of the screen, is make your sounds unique. Use these things. These things are cool. Anyway, so what was it set to 5,000? Sounds pretty good. Anyway, you guys, that's about all we need to do. And to the developer of the JDX Line Manager, I give this the crikey award for February 2018. Thumbs up, mate. You did an awesome job. Catch you guys later.